Sports fans are gearing up at Interstate Sports, your home for officially licensed fan gear. We have jerseys, custom frames, team signs, draft tumblers, and more. For every sports fan's needs, visit interstatesportsgifts.com. The good. The bad. The ugly. The Colorado Buffalo survived the Colorado State Rams in the Rocky Mountain rivalry. This is the Good, Bad, and Ugly film review. Let's get to it. The Good. All right, before we get started, just to let everybody know that these videos are demonetized due to the video footage that we use. Also, be sure to check out our sponsor, interstatesportgifts.com. If you're looking for any sports memorabilia, check them out. They got great prices, and if it's something that you don't see, Give him a call. I guarantee he can find it for you. Let's get this thing rocking, man. We starting off with the good. Third and five, Colorado State has the ball, 9-15 left in the first quarter. Got to get off the field. Great job right here, right? What I love about it, you're going to end up getting a holding call from them, but here's what I love about and why it's good. Look how many black jerseys to the ball. He doesn't even make it back to the line of scrimmage. Great job right there by the buffs. Okay, second and 14 here. Again, Colorado State has the ball. You're going to see a great play right here by one of the Sanders within himself. I ski. Let me get this thing and take this deal back to the crib, man. Almost went to high step like his daddy, but we all know that's a penalty, man. All right, you're going to see him right here. He's going to flat foot read this, okay? And he's just basically going to just jump it. Why? Boom. Look at it. He jumps it right here. I ski. Off to the races, man. And we own the house, man. Love it. Great return right there. Great way to keep the momentum going. Buffs on the board first. 7 nothing. Also, they got another penalty right there. This thing was penalty riddled, man, uh, by both teams. But Colorado State doubled them. All right, here we go. Third and eight. The Buffs got to convert this deal. Watch this throw right here. You talking about an excellent throw. Big time throw for the tub to Xavier Weaver. Let's explain real quick how this happens. Let's look at the pre-snap read. Right now, they're showing cover zero. All right, they're in an the empty set. They're showing cover zero. There's no safety help. That's what that means. Although, they're going to turn this into a zone, which is cover three. You're going to see this safety try to work to the middle of the field. He's got deep third. This corner has deep third. But they're going to use the slot guy to expose it. And that's the actual weakness of cover three, the seam balls. Watch this. This safety is going to favor. He knows that. There's nothing he can do. He can throw this ball right now. But watch this. If he needed to, he could have actually thrown it up top as well. As you see this, one guy can't cover two, but he threads the needle. Easy pitch and catch for Shadua Sanders, man. Great job. Touchdown right there by Weaver. As you see the emotions flaring up, the boy's ready to get into it. Give it to him, baby. <laughs> Second and five. Here's another great play coming in here by Shadua Sanders. Ski! Mm -hmm. Great job. Right? They've been running this play for a lot this game right here, just sneaking a tight end out. But you're going to see 21 come through here and drop it right on the ball. Gets the ball out of there. The Buffs recover that deal. Big number nine. He ain't playing around. He trying to make a play. He trying to be seen too. And I'm loving it, man. Great job right there by nine on the uh, fumble recovery, man. A lot of good plays in here. Third and three. You got to get off the field. It is th uh, third quarter 825 left as you see the colorado state rams are up by seven points right now this was huge look at this stop look at the penetration here by the defensive line to get them off the field let's look at this deal as we talk about it showing here but look at the amount of penetration they get boom and then look at the guys flowing to the ball right here great job cutting this guy down people getting to the ball for the stop that's a great way to get off the football field They go in here for the field goal, right? Fourth and two. Not so fast, my friends. This right here was huge. A great block, as you're going to see right up here up the middle. And you'll see in the bad where they actually got penalized earlier for attacking the uh, snapper, which you can't do. But they got a good hand up in here. Blocked this deal. Saved three points, man. Great job by those guys. Buffaloes were rolling at this part. Second half, trying to come back to win this deal. 
Third and five, another situation with three minutes left in the third. You got to get off the football field, right? Showing all out blitz here, but he got a two uh, man look. Good pressure, good puts him off. Bingo. I ski. Let's talk about what the two man looks look like. Basically, everybody's playing man underneath. They're going to have two high safeties, right? So these guys can kind of be in a trail technique, even though they're showing press. And these guys here are playing basically over the top. So you're going to see Shador Sanders right here playing over the top. And you're going to see seven kind of get picked off a little bit, but he's in that trail technique. That's why he's underneath it. And you're going to get a bracket coverage right here. Seven is underneath it. Shador is right over the top. I ski, baby. Another interception on there to kill the drive. Great way to change the momentum of the game. Second and five, 233 left in the third quarter. Got to convert this deal. The time is starting to become an issue. You're down by seven. No need to panic, but we got to get some things going. Here we go. Drops back. Man, this right here, if you don't call this a uh, not a an NFL throw, look at the hash. He's on the far hash, and he throws this deal on a line, boy. Look at this. I mean, hits him square in the hands right at the first down marker. You got to love it, man. Got to love the placement of the ball. Got to love the security of the catch and everything. Automatically has the first to keep this deal going, right? And I had to give Colorado a little bit of state. Look how many guys they get to the ball right away, man. But that throw right there was on a rope. 30 and 11, right? Got to convert this deal. Time is ticking. 138 in the third. Goes to empty set again. Finds the guy right down the middle. And the reason I put this as good for two reasons. One, he throws this. Look at this. Look how tight of a window this is. He throws it right between here. But the receiver also knows where the first down is. This is the first down marker. They got to convert this. Yeah, I could throw it here, but it may get tackled short. Here he's covered. I got to be able to throw this. He threads the needle, and he keeps the first down, keeps the chains moving, man. Great job right there. Number two was on something. Okay, here we go. They stall out, but they got to take a field goal. No big deal. We'll go here for the field goal. Right? They get stopped right down the gut. I always give field goals good, man. Got to get those kickers they love, man. They put in work, too. All right, here we go. Another 41-yard attempt. Fourth and 17. Fourth and 17. Trying to make it an eight-point game. Kicks it right down the gut with ease. And remember, you'll see later on in the bad and uglies where they get one blocked or they, they shank one, rather. Here we are. Now, this right here, in my opinion, changed the momentum and the complexity of this game. Look at this here. It's fourth quarter, three minutes left. They got to be able to convert this deal. If they converted this, I, I believe strongly that Colorado State wins this ball game. But because they played the way they did, they threw the ball be, uh, um, underneath the first down marker, they had to punt the ball off to Colorado Buffs. But watch this right here. This right here changed the game all together. Throws it, but look at the conversion to the ball. You got two to the ball, can't get a missed tackle right here, and you force him to get it out of his hand early with the stunt. He has to throw it right now. Okay, he could have maybe hit him up here, but he decided to go right there. But look at this. You got three buffs on one. And right here, that number four, he was, a, he was a good player as well. But this right here, I think, really changed the game. And it gave the Buffaloes a, another shot uh, at the ball. I'm going to play this out. I'm going to play all of the, this entire drive. This is, they punted the ball. Uh, and we'll see that later. They punted the ball on the two, down to the two-yard line. Okay, so now... Shador Sanders and the Buffaloes have to go 98 yards in a minute 49. If this is not the epitome of a two-minute drill, I don't know what is. But here it is. Back is in the wall there. In the end zone, right? No, you can't take a safety. They give up the edge. I always talk about edges. And you give two a little bit of time to extend it. Boom. And boy, number 87 came to play on this drive. You're going to see a lot of him. But they keep it going. Here's the next one. Watch the read. He sees it. He feels the pressure. But look at this long throw, man. Right? When I was watching this, I thought he was going to hit the tight end right here. Look at him drill this ball in here, man. And smart way of getting out of bounds, stopping the clock, right? Got to get out of bounds to stop the clock. Second and 10. All these are consecutive plays. They try to use the stunt. My man throwing darts out here, man. I'm telling you. They come with the stunt. He's no pressure. Stands tall in the pocket. Delivers a dart right through here, man. Again, another tight window. But we get a, they get a lot of conversion here, but good open field tackle right there by 17 for, for the Rams. 
second and 14. 46 seconds left in the game. You're down by eight. You got to convert this deal. Step up. Look at this. Extend the play and throws a dime to Jimmy Horn. Uh, again, his football IQ and his poise, I have to be honest with you, a second to none. Uh, one thing I think the Colorado State Rams did was they did, they stopped bringing pressure, right? And one thing I know about Shador Sanders, if you give him time, he's going to make you pay. That's exactly what he did. Stood up in the paint, flipped his hips around, and dropped a dime to Jimmy Horn. Made the first guy miss. Uh, in for the touchdown. Now it's 28 to 26. They got to be able to convert this deal. They got to be able to convert this deal. All right. Here's where the mishap is for Colorado State. I don't know why this corner played off like it's a zone and 87 did a great job coming to him. That confuses him, right? So if he comes to him and then brings it back inside, kind of like a little arrow route, comes here, comes in, uh, back inside, what happened? He backs out. He said, oh, okay, let me go take care of number three. Leaves 87 alone. Easy pitch and catch in the back of the end zone. Big shout out to the walk on in there, man. Ties this game up 28-28 with 32 seconds left in the game. All right, now we're in the overtime. Now we're in the overtime. Here's, here's what they have to do in order to score. Empty set, right? Two extends the play. 58 loses it. Let's go back to this. I don't know what he was doing. I know in film room, they're going to kill him. Boom, he comes here. If he sets the edge, it might be a little bit more difficult, but he spins back inside, leaves two out here, finds the open guy down the field, easy pitch and catch, big time ball. All right, second overtime. The second overtime, first and goal. They go 87 again, mama. They go that man again. Let's talk about this. There's a drag concept in here. He's going to immediately drag. It's not there. He just doesn't sit still. What does he do? Start working his way to the end zone. Old school scramble drill, right? Watch 87. Come here. Little drag concept. It's not there. Let me just turn up. Find a soft spot in the zone. Turn that thing over, man. Turn that thing over. 41-42 by rule. You must go for two at this point. I don't know how in the world should do it. Got this ball off, but they are completely selling out. They come in to get him, and that's what they definitely try to do. But look at this. Doesn't have he doesn't have Dylan underneath here. He's got a guy back here in the back of the end zone. But look at this. Right in the face of pressure. Right in the face of pressure. Right in the back of the end zone is Weaver. I'm not sure what 90. I, you know, you got your hands up. Get get hold of them. But man, great throw. Great concentration. Great way to find that dude. All right, here we go. Fourth and goal. They have to get into the end zone. They had a huge penalty. And we'll talk about it later. But they basically got to throw a 23-yard pass in order to score just to keep this thing alive. But nope. Trevor Woods got another thing coming for that, right? Great pressure. Make him step up. Tries to throw it. 43 say, not so fast. I'm about to end this game again, man. Just like he did in the previous game. I believe that was TCU. Punch that deal out of here. Get that crap out of here. And there you have it. You see the two head coaches meeting in the middle of the field. Yeah, it was some words out there, but it is what it is. And that is the good. Now let's get to the bad. The bad. All right, here we are with the bad. Second and four, right? Crossing routes, as everybody knows, has been killing this defense. I've been saying it since the TCU game. And this is a very hard deal to cover. We're going to see the little shallow cross concept. The tight end comes underneath, right? little crazy block five makes a good play right there to get up there but the crossing routes are going to have to be defended third and five you got to get off the field first quarter 10 40 left in the half again so here's here's what i will say a lot of people say well why we're we not playing man why we're we not playing man well they were playing man they're playing it with the number one player uh, coming out of high school in Travis Hunter, who's actually lined up on 14 Horton. And they were playing press man. But I have to say this. The crossing routes are one of the hardest routes to cover. You have to anticipate these kind of routes and pass this deal off in a zone concept. Because in man, they create a lot of traffic and trash in here. And you get caught up. But watch this. There's really no trash. It's just a hard route to cover. Especially if you got a dynamic receiver like him. And a good quarterback that can deliver it, it's tough. Third and five, they converted it. All right, here we go. I go for the bad because 
here's where you're going to get this penalty. I talked about it, right? The reason this is bad, they're going to actually hit the, the long snapper. I believe this is him. Yep. They're going to hit the long snapper, and the field goal goes through. Fortunately for Buffalo, for the Buffaloes, excuse me, right, that penalty, that penalty actually cost them 15 yards and a first down, but that's when you saw Shador Sanders pick six that thing. So really the Buffaloes never got any points out of that drive. So it was a mistake. It was bad. However, it did turn into points. So they got to be careful with that. And I think they definitely got that fixed. Second and 12 here. First quarter, 743 in the first quarter. Again, here we go. You got to be able to set the edge, guys. With, with quarterbacks that's feeling it like this at night, you know, this night, man, he was feeling it. We didn't set the edge. And look how they got a guy here. These are tails. These things are tails. Yeah, he can go out, but look at his body. He's telling you something. He's basically sit here to set the edge for anybody that comes through. And that's exactly what he did. Okay, got his hips around and threw a great pass right over the shoulder, right over there on number seven, man. Ended up having to make the tackle, but great pitch and catch by the Rams. Number four, Brown, he a gangster, and so was 14, man. All right, third and four, like you say, into the first quarter. Got to be able to convert this deal. Empty set. And here's where you get a little bit of pressure. This is the first time I have to say that I actually saw Shador make a bad choice with the ball, right? Everybody's entitled to some mistakes, but I have to say this is the first time I saw him make a bad choice. We're also going to see right here a uh, big 6'9 get beat around the edge. They had a dynamic edge rusher right here. Maybe it was a little pressure that threw it off, but this ball actually gets batted down by this linebacker. Right here, I thought it could have definitely been um, an interception, but he ended up just batting it down and they had to punt the ball. Second and four, 11 09 left in the half. Now, here's where I want to talk about these, these crossing routes. They come in many different forms. You see, they're pretty much showing you four strong here. You're going to get a little under route here by the tight end, and you're going to get another drag. I'm going to tell you how we used to defend it, and it's, it's kind of it's kind of crazy, but it's just hard. A lot of people think, oh, well, play with Shador. He can cover a man. Just by the angle alone, he's going to always be behind. I want to take my time and walk through this a little bit, if you don't mind. All right, you got this look. You're going to see five pop out of here. Okay, this corner is going to take care of him. You see Shador come. I'm sorry, Shiloh, excuse me. Shiloh's coming over here on this crossing route. He's behind just by angle. Right here, you see the linebacker try to flip and find, but unfortunately, that's not the guy that should do it because he's late. It should really be this guy should do the flip and find because of the angle. What do I mean? He's actually doing what I think should be his technique. Let's talk about it. Because of his angle, he'll never make it. See him, watch him. That's the flip and find technique. But by the time he sees it, it's already too late. Flip and find should come from this guy. You already got guys heading to the quarterback. You already got a guy that's working down on this receiver. Flipping fine should be here to get underneath that ball. Okay, if 25 would have got up underneath this ball right here, and Shador, I'm sorry, Shiloh would be right over the top, you could break that up, man. Remember, those crossing routes are tough. Third and seven, got to convert this deal, man. Look at the time. You're in the third quarter, down 21-14. I mean, unbelievable sack right here. I know he was getting out. Of, I know he saw nothing but green grass, but 34 makes a heck of a play right here, just getting off on the edge. First and goal. All right, first and goal. Now, here's the, 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 the thing where I thought they had to get it in the end zone and they end up with a field goal. I put all three of these plays on here just to say, hey, when we this close, we down by seven, we got to find a way to get it in the end zone. All right, we're going to do the very first run here. Try to use it with Dylan Edwards to go around the corner, but look at Colorado State. Look how many people getting to the football, man. Getting to the ball, bro. That's one thing I say. Their defense did a very good job of getting to the football. Second and goal. Look at these guys. Look at all these white jerseys getting to the ball. Didn't make it easy. All right. Didn't get enough push up front. Didn't get it going. Look at all the penetration you're getting right here by the white jersey. There was some fighting going on out there. Now we had third and goal, right? Quarter change. 
quarter change. Tried to go straight up the gut, nothing. Nothing happening. And that's that field goal that we saw earlier in the good. All right, third and three. Got to be able to get off the field, right? Look at the clock. We're in the second overtime. Second overtime, right? If they score here, they can go for two. Oh, two. So get them off the field. Put them at fourth and long. I mean, throws a dime in here. Now, while we're not doubling up 14 and we're putting a linebacker number 25 to cover their best receiver, who probably at this point in the game already has 15 receptions, I'm not understanding, but a straight rocket in here and 14 with the catch. That's why I put it as bad because the number one player can't beat me. And we put him in a mismatch against our middle linebacker. That's just unfair to that young man. And that is the bad. Let's get to the ugly. The ugly. All right, here we go. We had the ugly. This is where things have a complete breakdown. Third and 11, first quarter, 12, 19 left. This is where Shador, I felt, was a little rattled. Got hit, definitely, but still delivered a good ball. I have to be very honest. He got hit right here. That, that uh, number eight. Coming off the edge was giving some problems here. You see they bring an overload blitz, steps in the pocket, actually delivers a good ball, right? That ball should have been caught. But what happens? Number 11 ends up taking it out of his hand for interception, man. Check this out. Watch the little head slap, guys. Eh? <laughs> and we were quick with it. Hold up. Watch the little head slap. Watch this. Uh. And he quick, boy. All right. Here we go. I think this is the end zone cut of the ugly. You cannot do this to the long snapper. Cannot do that to the long snapper. End up pushing the ball forward. But again, Shador Sanders did what? Shador Sanders went on here. And pick, no, I'm sorry. Shiloh, excuse me. Shiloh Sanders got the pick six to the house. So it kept them off the board. Shane coached with that penalty. All right. Here we go. First and 10. The Rams have the ball. My goodness, halfback pass, really not halfback pass, but the little jet screen pass, 14, man. If he can't do it all, I don't know what can. This dude, like I said, had what, 16, 17 in his, uh, uh, receptions. But look at this throw by him. My goodness. I mean, <laughs> bro, that's tough business right there. Number five hauls it in over Trevor Woods. Now, I have to say this. Trevor Woods did not fall for this. He Again, he's right in here. He puts his hand up. But look at the throw. I mean, great pitch and catch. I mean, it's just unfortunate for him, man. It was contested all the way. I mean, just a, a touchdown, man. Oof. Boys out there uh, shooting arrows, huh? All right, here we go. Second and 10, 631 in the first quarter. Again, another just complete breakdown. Great move by Travis Hunter to make a miss trying to get the first. I mean, look at this dynamic. Uh, made him miss. But look at this. This is what I keep talking about. Colorado State did a great job getting to the football. Look at all these white jerseys. Unfortunately, Travis Hunter fumbles that ball, scoop and score by number three, taking that thing all the way back to the house. The Rams are up 14-7 in the first quarter. Mm, wow. All right, first and goal in this deal, man. They've been running this route. We've been seeing it a hundred times. A lot of people were saying 14 was picking. Yes and no. Yes, he did pick him off, but you have to remember right here, it's not considered a pick if he's behind the line of scrimmage, which is this line. He's behind the line of scrimmage. So he can throw this just like a screen. No big deal. Okay. Here's the second thing I must say. You see the, the bounce off. Travis Hunter actually hesitates. If he comes to him right away, if he comes to him, I know he's probably thinking this guy may corner out on him, but if he comes to him right away, he can stop this play before number five gets all that momentum and goes in for the touchdown. Rams up 21-14. Second to go, 4-15, excuse me, left in the second quarter. Man, this is actually the same exact concept. This is actually the same exact concept that Colorado ran with Xavier Weaver Okay, but they do it now to the Colorado Buffaloes. 
too high look. They're going to see a reduction safety here out of 21 in Shiloh Sanders. He's got to be responsible, Trevor Woods, for the middle of the field. He's going to be a little bit late. You're going to see this guy come right up the seam. I told you, cover three or this one high safety, the seams are always vulnerable. Instead of them having it two by two, they do a three by one. Watch this. And right there, he's open. As you see him, he's wide open, tight window. Trevor Woods just a little bit late. You caught him between the two. And there it is. So again, let's look at this. 12, he's sitting over top. He's got deep third. Trevor Woods got to get to the middle of the field. And they caught him right in the seam, man. Caught him a little late right in the seam. I'm sorry. Let me go back. I apologize. I did say earlier that it would have been 21. They ended up calling a penalty there for a high-low block or something to that effect. They had to go back and do it again. That's how it became 21. All right. Let's look at a breakdown here on the, on the uh, O-line. Complete breakdown here. Number eight was a uh, grown man out there when he came to the edge. And there you go. You got a big sack right there with 14 seconds left in the half. All right. Here we are. 430 left. In the third quarter, it's fourth and seven to make this thing 17-21. But unfortunately, the kicker just kicks this bad. The hold is good. Looks to be good. Nobody seems to have blocked it. He just shanks this deal, man. Mm. That's big time right there uh, for Colorado State. Here we go. Good hold. Here we go. And he just comes off his foot wrong. And he just shanks the deal. All right, getting into the fourth quarter. 21-17, 11-30 in the game. Third and seven. Another crossing route, but let me tell you something. Again, playing man is hard, but I have to say seven played this extremely well. But lucky to draw. I mean, a throw, great catch off the shoelaces by number five, and you off to the races. Beats them in there to the end zone. I think I got an end zone cut of this. Again, what can you do differently, right? Could wait for some guy here, but hey, we're going to play straight man on the tight end. I mean, contest it right off the shoelaces. It is what it is. Let me see if I can get to the end zone cut of this deal. All right, here we go. You're going to see five come right across here. Number seven is locked up on them. No big deal. Look at this. Low in the way. Nobody can get it but him. I mean, my goodness. Great catch right there. Got to get to the ball here. Big number five, rumbling, stumbling, bumbling to the end zone to put that thing up 28 17. The buffs are down by 11 at this point. My goodness. Let's take it to overtime, right? We already seen the buffs come back 35 to 28, second and three. But anyway, they're going to throw a dart right through here on the backside safety. I don't know how that got cut off. So sorry, y'all. Uh, right here to 14 again. He's going to throw a straight line through here for the uh, for the touchdown here. All right, here we go. Second overtime. This is where you're going to see something. I felt it was controversial. All right, you're going to block here. A lot of people, even the commentators, oh, it's a pick play. It would have been if he would throw the ball to number five. But because he did not throw the ball to number five, it's blocking. Here, now you're going to see he's going to get a, a block here on 25, and they call it a blindside block. Right, he called it a blindside block and it, it negates the touchdown and they get the penalty. So let's look at it again. Right, quarterback sees it, could have thrown it, but he got to get in. He knows, hey, let me use him as a blocker. As soon as I throw it, it's going to be a tackle. Let me just use him as a blocker. But here's where the penalty occurs. And the reason I put this down is bad because you got to be able to get onto this guy a lot faster. Okay, and he just kind of walks in, scampers on in. Wow. And that's it for the ugly. Coach Prime and the Colorado Buffaloes escape a close one in the Rocky Mountain rivalry in Boulder. Next, they headed to Eugene to play the Oregon Ducks. With all that being said, make sure you hit the subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss any of the great content that comes out on this channel. Also, check out our sponsor, InterstateSportsGifts.com for all your sports memorabilia needs. And with that being said, Coach Hayes will catch you at the 50-yard line. Peace.